Hello friends and welcome to another video. So in this video I want to talk about what you're seeing here which is um, the test setup that I do. So some of you that are following me for a long time have uh, always seen this and maybe you think oh, oh that uh, doesn't look very good. But eventually all of those type of experiments when they take a final form they get packaged up much more nicely so in a compact thing in, a, in a, an enclosure that is safe and it uh, has you know decent looks. So but how do you get there? So this is one of my um, tools that I've over the years sort of um, improved upon and now it's in a, in a state that uh, I have three of these and I'm very happy with it. So I thought also because um, Frank Geerts, um, who is one of my regular viewers, he made a comment. He said, oh, I saw that H-frame, really smart. Um, um, you know, it's a good, good idea. So I thought, well, let's make a video about it and share it with you so that um, all the DIYers under you or that are maybe planning to become DIYs can um, ha have some uh, have an extra um, tool in their pocket, really, if you if you want to say so. So let's talk about this freight frame. So first construction, and then I'll get into some of the advantages that you have and how you can work with it. First of all, it's made of wood, which is electrically safe. Um, there's some other advantages. We'll get into it. So structurally, how it is constructed. As you see, there's two sides here. I'm using 12 millimeter ply, so half an inch uh, ply. I'm using three quarter of an inch um, sort of frame, which is also in an H form, strangely enough. Um, and that gives the rigidity. So I use that to mount the, the panels to each other. You could glue it, but I do it with screw. I just screw them in, all these three things. So this is six millimeter ply. Um, the reason that I do a, a bit thinner material is usually because with tube sockets it, it works a lot better. If it's 12 meter, a millimeter thick, you often um, end up with a, uh, the tube really sitting into the wood um, and it might burn a little bit or something. So that's uh, to keep it six millimeter or six, seven millimeters, so a quarter inch um, is probably still best. And this, and this wood here reinforces it. So this is three quarter of an inch hardwood. Um, I'm using oak, Tasmanian oak in this, this case, but um, you won't have that if you're not in Australia. But it's an oak type, a bit harder, solid material. I, I drill it before I put screws in it. Um, and, th and that gives the rigidity. You can use anything, but I'm using this. Um, so that's the H frame. So the construction is really screws in, the, in, the, in this main plate go into here. Um, this as well. So once this is mounted, then I put the sides on and uh, screw that into from from this direction. Um, now then, the idea is that all your connectors and tubes and anything that is user serviceable in some ways um, is on the other side here, and all the electronics and the high voltage, your open circuitry that you want is here is easily accessible and it's also relatively safe so we're going to that as well and then you can also use connectors on 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 the sides if you want to now let's talk about the the the, the three sides so the three sides of how you use this frame so the, when you use it like this this is our soldering stage or putting together or laying out i'm just laying out here a um, um what i might do a lampersator style um output stage for the CD player. So I will just tap the voltage out, bring it in here and use a tube output stage. So that's what I'm laying out here. And I'm, I'm basically giving me a lot of space. I also make sure that um, when I have soldering joints um, that I can easily access it. So for example, these chokes, they have their connection points here. So I'm making sure that this side is well accessible because here's probably is going to run some other wiring and it will block access. So you lay it out so you can easily access it and then I'll, I'll come later into a bit of safety because um, now I'll do it now. Uh, so when I layer this up and I connect all these components up when I have it like this is I start with the high voltage. So if you do anything with tubes, if, if that's in your path, because I will also be using this when I um, construct the deck, I will also use this, this platform. Um, but this is, of course, mostly low voltage. I mean, apart from the power supply you know, the, 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 the mains voltage there. But I layer it like this. So I do first do the high voltage and then I do the return path. So I find, because I always pay attention, so I never have hum problems and so on, but I pay large 
a, a good at, a bit of attention to um, return paths and making them short and making sure that um, any of the grounding of course will be sort of star or uh, Sakuma's two-point um, grounding method um, but that's the first thing I do. The other advantage is a little bit of doing it like that and then um, layer, the, the third layer will be um, uh, filament heating. If there's any AC filament heating that comes third and then fourth is the signal wiring. So once I've got all the, 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 the higher current and AC current things, where I'll put the signal wire in there and I, I usually crisscross it straight and so on. So there's minimal influence on the signal. Um, but also, now in use, of course, we'll, we'll get to it when we turn this around. Um, it, it just makes um, any open solders and uh, soldering and so on that is high voltage. Um, yes, it's a little bit further away if you need to change it, um, but it is also the safest because none of the high voltages are exposed to the outside. I usually keep it in, on the inside of the frame. Now, once I start using it or I bring it from where I soldered it, say that you're in your shed or something, you can all put it all together and then you bring it to where your stereo system is, why you want to try it out. So then you turn it around and then you have all your user, which you just as an end user want to use. So you have your RCA connector, you might have a volume pot, you might have your tubes that you want to replace, anything, your outputs, your inputs. Uh, your controls, your switches, whatever you have, you put it on this side so that it's, it's nicely accessible. And as, as you can see, it is pretty safe having this in your living environment. Let, yes, if you have small children, yeah, they could touch it. That's not a good idea. But if you don't, for example, my cats stay away anyway from electricity once they notice that it's on. They never step on this, but... Um, you can see that everything now is reasonably safely tucked away. The high voltage is the deepest layer. It's at the bottom of this amp. Um, so, um, yeah, that's the way it's it's designed. And now I've got all my user, um, you know, my normal thing, outputs and controls uh, on this top. Now, if you want to store it away, this is the, the third advantage. So, apart from easy access and, go and safe use, um, you can just put it on its side and then... You can tuck it away. So I've got three of three of these. So this is the smallest one, and then two sm uh, bigger ones. If I have three of these, this takes less than half a square meter. This is a couple of square feet um, that I only need to store three of these. So very easy. And um, I, I find as well that if you mount everything um, um, solid enough so that it just can hang, you know, it can be hung like this. It is usually also it means that it's it's relatively safe to use because it's it's already surviving you putting it on its side or on its top or on its bottom. Um, so yeah, that's really my overview for this, this um, age frame. Um, I hope that is somewhat useful for you um, or in the future when you, you will start your DIY uh, projects. I think it's a really nice uh, construction. It's, it's simple, it's safe, it's cheap, can be reused a lot, um, and it has a lot of advantages, so fine. So, um, yeah. Well, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for tuning into my channel, and, um, Ian, and um, I'll hope to catch you in the next video. And uh, until then, have a brilliant day, week night whatever you do take care and um, i'll hope to catch you soon bye bye